Islam is the only religion that has something called a chain of transmission. This is what we were discussing last time. The chain of transmission is nothing short of a miracle. Yeah, it's something which is a field in itself. If I was to delve into, you would be left in awe. And this is something that only Islam has to offer. Christianity or let's just say even Judaism. That's a gen, yeah. <laughs> When you say it's not written, it's not something that is carried on. It's a written, not only a written. Because just memorized it. Yeah, there is, because it shows you that the Lord said he will write it in everyone's heart. It's a part. I'll tell you, there is um, Deuteronomy 30 10. It talks about that the Lord will write it in every one of his children's hearts. How many would you say have memorized it? Because honestly, I haven't come across a single one in all of my studies that claim to have memorized the Bible from cover to cover. Because it's a, it's a lot, it's a lot of information. I understand, so, but you said according to the Bible, yeah. God's written it in everybody's hearts. Uh, yeah. So you should have loads then, isn't it? <laughs> there should, there should be loads. Yeah. Um, obviously, based on the how the versions is taken, because there is there's people today. Very good. Even yeah. in there's loads of versions. A, Over sixty. The, the version, how is it? Like there's an order of things, right? Yeah. So there is, okay, there could be first five five writings that there's some people that in Zimbabwe that have preserved even in their cultural you know behavior that they call the bantu people so you're saying preserving uh, in terms of actions not words yeah as what well, because the act action derives to a expression the words derive to an expression which a word derives to an expression but what we're saying is the quran itself from the get-go it was memorized the hadith or or the sayings of the Prophet, they were also for memorized as well. The highest ranks with the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and Sahaba Ajma'een. Ameen, Ameen. Yeah, boy. So, uh, yeah, the Quran was memorized from the get-go, from the beginning, from the Prophet. And I think the point that I was trying to say was that the disciples hadn't memorized it. That much we can agree on, isn't it? And then the first generation after they hadn't memorized it. So it was, it's not a tradition amongst Christians to memorize the book and neither amongst certain, the Jews. Certain, certain, because like I say, there's not... No, there's not a single disciple, they, they the, the Prophet's close uh, companion was Abu Bakr, yeah? That after him was Umar, yeah? They had memorized the Quran, they had memorized sayings of the Prophet. That saying, you know, still, still needs, you know, proof. I will give you proof, Lancelot. Now me standing here, I'm going to give you an example of a chain of transmission right here right now i'm going to link it directly to the prophet yeah that's a big claim i'm making so the prophet peace be upon him is a saying that's been attributed to him that which is ironic because the prophet said if somebody wrongly attributes something to me then he has in effect reserved a place in a hellfire for themselves yeah so this is a saying now i have read this in a book by Muhammad al shaybani he got it from his teacher, Imam Abu Hanifa. So Imam Abu Hanifa, he got it from al atiya al atiya Al-Awfi. al atiya Al-Awfi got it from Abu Sa'id Al-Khudri, radiyallahu an. And Abu Sa'id Al-Khudri got it from Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa peace be upon him. What I've now done is I've given you, standing here, an entire chain. I can tell you every single person in this chain, which I've done so. We know their names, we know their tribes. So we, we know hadith from Sanad, Matan and Tariqh. Yeah, so the chain from the text itself and from the date of the narration itself as well. Yeah, so we can critique that nobody can come and attribute something to the Prophet that was said to him without an academic saying this is impossible. Mm -hmm. It's absolutely impossible. Yeah, and in the chain of narration, we know the name. We know how good their memory is. We know their tribe. We know their father's name. We know where they traveled. We know who they sat with and we know how long they sat with. Now, can you provide me something similar to that in your tradition? Well, no. I, I would I would I would have to obviously go in more detail, but I'm not in that that terminology. There is there, there is timeline where I could 
provide you obviously on a on a different platform where we sit down and actually break it down. Yeah, yeah of course. Yeah. But well, Lancelot, you see, there's four cameras here. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I can make a bold face claim here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Knowing that this is going to go online and I can be refuted. Yeah, yeah. Of course. I can make this claim that Christianity does not have anything that matches that. Mm -hmm. I can say that right now. Okay. It doesn't have anything that even comes close to that. Or let's just say even Judaism. Where's the corruption? Where's this corruption? Where's this corruption? That you keep talking about? I want to that see. The Lord will write it in every one of his. That you, you know of I haven't come across a single one in all of my studies that claim to have memorized the Bible from cover to cover. It's a lot of information. I understand. But you said according to the Bible, God's written it in everybody's hearts. So you should have loads then, isn't it? This is something that only Islam has to offer. They don't need. Enough proof. I will give you proof. Well, no, I, I would, I would, I would have to obviously go in more detail, but I'm not in that that term.